question is, discuss the strong and weak points of the current Board of Commissioners. They were, they were uh, developed by Randall and I, Randall Rigsby, my editor and I. Sounds a bit biased. Oh. Okay, please, no Are you kidding me? Go ahead. Thank you. I'll take a stab at it. It's a bad question. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what I know from the people. Okay, this is not necessarily my personal opinion, but this is what I have learned. I've spent a lot of time talking to different people and meeting people in, in different environments. And the one thing I hear consistently that concerns me is that I don't have representation. No one's listening to me. Now, that should not be. Now, we can have differences of opinions and different platforms, but everyone should be treated with respect. And everybody in this county deserves a voice, whether you agree with it or not. They deserve respect. We all deserve respect. And some of the things that I hear from them kind of gives me a little bit of concern, and I'm, I'm pretty much worried about that. And that's probably one of the biggest reasons that I'm sitting here right now is because of the people of this county. You know, we all live here. We all pay taxes. And we all have somewhat of services. But the people in the majority of this county do not feel like that they have a voice. They've got responsibility for that. I'm sorry. And we have the voice. Hey. And to that point, and, and to that point, and, I, and that's, that's the point, and I'll address that with what I've been told, is that there are a lot of committees and there are advisory boards that people can serve on. But unfortunately, like I made in my opening statement, that they are filled with like-minded allies and there's no diversity of ideas diversity of ideas is good i mean candor is good that's what that's what um, prompts us to be innovative and creative not having the same position is good it pushes us to find new better ways and a lot of people feel like they've been left out of that process people tell me they can go to the board meetings if they go before the the commissioners sometimes they're not even met eye to eye they don't even look them in the eye when they're they're talking and you know that's that's not good either and again like i said i'm hearing this from the people that is a big concern and that's what i hear the most of every place that i go never fails i hear people that say that now if you're not one of those that are in that group that's great and that's good but everybody in this county should feel like they have a voice. Having, having served as a commissioner in the past, uh, you know, I have heard and other commissioners will probably tell you and, and folks in elective office that uh, there will be people from time to time who will say they don't have a voice and you're not listening to them. That's, that's old. Uh, and it generally comes from people who oppose what you do. That's fine. That's the American way. But you know, I'm reminded of uh, a conversation that I had with a gentleman in Piggly Wiggly one day. I was shopping and just kind of minding my own business there. I was in a rush, actually, to get home. And this guy comes up to me and he says, uh, oh, Carl, uh, there are people in the West that are saying that you haven't done anything. And I said, well, uh, I'm glad you asked that question because I, I want to tell you what we have done. I said, well, you're not a voice of the people. Let me tell you. I said, well, you know, I think we've probably done more for the West than any other area of the county. He said, what have you done? And I started to list just a litany of things that we have done, including having meetings in, 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 in uh, Bondi and in, in Golston to listen to people's concerns and working with the mayor of Golston to, to get a, uh, establish a sewer system there that a year ago they thought would never happen. It was a dream. But we helped to establish that. And working with the mayor of Silo City to, uh, to, to get money to Silo City for economic development. Mm -hmm. and. and uh, you know, went on and on and on and talking to him about some of the things we've done. $150,000 that we, we got for Chatham Hospital uh, for a digital mammography machine that they asked us for. And, and when, I, when I started to, to, after mentioning many of these things, he looked at me and said in amazement, he said, well, why, why haven't you told people about this? And I said to him, well, I'm trying. Would you help me tell people what we're doing? So, I mean, people can say, we're not, we're not representing you. Uh, we're not a voice for them, but if you look at the facts, if you look at what we've done, we have been the most citizen-friendly board of commission, I think, in the history of Chatham County. Wow. Let me 
me start by saying I agree it's, a, it's an odd question. Um, uh, the question was to discuss the strengths and weaknesses of the current board, so I'm going to go a little different. Um, I'll tell you about some of the strengths uh, because, uh, again, sometimes it gets a little acrimonious. Uh, I would say one of the uh, biggest strengths that I've seen and that uh, I would commend them on is the community college. Um, that is a gym in, in the county. And with the help of thousands of residents to help them raise money for that, we have a, a showcase for community college, and I think that's great. Um, so that is one of the strengths. I would also say that everybody up here wants what's best for the county. That's a strength. Where we disagree on is how to get that done. Uh, do we do that from more of a central planning standpoint, or do we do that from a private industry, let the individuals? And that's, that's your job, is to decide the best way to get that done. So while it may sound like uh, all we do is disagree with each other, uh, there are some strengths on the board, and I, I wouldn't want to leave the implication that that was not the case. A couple things which have already been said. Uh, I agree with what uh, Mr. Thompson said, and I also appreciate uh, what Mr. Bach just said. Uh, I think one of our strengths certainly is our ability to work with uh, other elected bodies. We have an absolutely wonderful working relationship with our Board of Education. And the winner in this are our students. And uh, they're the ones that did nominate us as Commissioners of the Year. And we eventually got that award from the North Carolina School Board Association. Uh, there's a natural tension between boards of commissioners and boards of education. So we see what happens when it doesn't work out well, like in Wake County. Uh, but we take that natural tension and we make creative solutions about it. Uh, I enjoy immensely working with our school board, making our school system better and the rest of the commissioners do as well. We also have a superb working relationship with the sheriff, another elected official, and sometimes board of commissioners and sheriffs don't get along, but we get along great. And I think the end result of that is we have a law enforcement system in Chatham County that works. Our uh, property crime, crime rate is half the state average. Our violent crime rate is half the state average. We have a great sheriff, and, but part of that crime rate uh, low crime rate is because we have a great working relationship with the commissioner. We're the ones that have to fund his department, even though he is an elected official, just like his school system. Thank you.